Hello friends, I trust that the study on entering the presence of God is enriching us and today we will look at what is it that you and I can receive in the presence of God. Nobody can enter God's presence and go back empty-handed and that's the most beautiful thing about seeking God, the most beautiful thing about meeting with God. So what is it that you and I can take back with us um, from his presence. Well, uh, let's first read a passage of scripture. This is in John chapter 15 verses 4 and 5. It says, Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. So in this passage, you know, Jesus talked about our connectedness with him. We are the branches and Jesus is the true vine. This place of connectedness or, you know, I'll put it this way, this place of dwelling in the presence of God, this place of abiding in God is a place from where we are told that we will bear much fruit. So when we stay put in the presence of God, when we learn to practice the presence of God, which means that you know, it's not just a scheduled time, which is important in God's presence. You know, we take time out. We have periods of time during the day where we move deeper uh, and draw nearer to God. Uh, but even throughout the day, as we go about our mundane responsibilities, we stay connected with God. We stay in his presence. And this is what this passage says. You know, when we are connected with God, what we are receiving is the very life of the vine flowing through the branches. And um, uh, the Bible calls this life Zoe, the Zoe life of God. And it is called the life of God or the God kind of life. It's not just the earthly life that we live here, but it's the kind of life that God has in him. The God kind of life flows through us from that place of connectedness. So when we enter the presence of God, this is what is happening. God's Zoe life is flowing into us and flowing out of us. God's power flows into us and flows out of us. So we are receiving from the very life of God. We are receiving from the very power of God. And that's what we can now take back to the world that we you know, live our lives in, do, do our, um, our, our things in. We can take God's life and power and enter our world. Now, here's another thing that we receive when we spend time in God's presence. And Jesus taught us this in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 6. He says, but you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your father who is in the secret place. And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So we can also receive God's reward. When we spend time with God, in his presence, it's not wasted time. You know, some of us stress about it that, hey, I have to put this kind of time aside in God's presence and I have so much, um, so many other things to do. Well, God says, if you have done that, when you've gone away alone, what is God going to do for you in the open? He's going to reward you. So you know, we come away with God's life, God's power and with God's rewards. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessedness, O oh God, of experiencing you in your presence. Lord, we pray that, Lord, you will give us the grace, Lord, to, uh, Lord, experience you more and more. And God, to make this, Lord, the, the main thing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.